Good. All right. Fire away. Bully hammered everybody right after the game. Uh, uh, it was their first chance to talk to you. I mean, it, it seemed like such an obvious, you know, Taysom Hill run heavy plan. What what was the reason why he didn't get his first carry in that game until? Uh, I think this as a as a staff something that we had talked about was is um, you know he had a few snaps there where he was in the backfield, but. Given the weather conditions and everything, we wanted to see, you know, throw some different personnel groupings out there, a few that included him as well, and really kind of see what we were getting from them defensively based on, A, not only what, what their, maybe their taste and plan was, but also because of the weather conditions. And so, um, you know, we threw some different things out there just to, and then once we uh, felt like we had a good beat, obviously got to Doug and Zach and, uh, you know, their thoughts of, hey, start firing out the, the taste and run plays. So it was, it was really just the... Listen, you'd love to have him back there and getting a ton of carries. You'd love having Alvin getting back there. But I, I think uh, yeah, probably a little bit later than maybe we wanted to based on the way the game was going. But, again, we wanted to, you know, he lined up there and then kind of shifted a couple times. And uh, we wanted to just see what their adjustments were going to be early. Well, I think, the, uh, you know, we obviously took the weather into consideration with that as well, how they were going to... Um, you know, what were they going to defend with the run and all that. So I think that uh, um, when you look at the opening, you know, the openers as we put them together, we'll throw multiple groups out there often just to kind of see what kind of adjustments we're getting from the defense. Alvin's uh, wide receiver snaps are like way down this year percentage-wise, you know, based on other years to this year. But why is that? Why does he mean he line up there as much as he used to? Well, I think this, you know, as part of that is, is – uh, you know, we've had opportunities to maybe, you know, throw the ball to him out of the backfield and maybe a certain coverage didn't get him the ball to go there. Um, again, we haven't had a, a ton of super amount of plays uh, throughout the course of the season. Really, the last several games, we end up with, you know, 60 snaps. But uh, well, he's, he's a big part of it. Uh, you know, it's, it's not part of the play. I mean, we have plays in that are designed for that every week. It's just uh, whether I just haven't called him or we haven't gotten to him or maybe uh, the look hasn't let the ball go in his direction. So there's probably several reasons. What about, what about like snaps where he's actually just on the up at receiver though? I mean, that, that also seems to be a smaller part of the offense this year. Or yeah. Or... Yeah, I think that could just, you know, us, you know, start with me doing a better job of getting him out there then. Pete, um, what do you think Andy's been doing uh, well just in terms of taking care of the ball? I think uh, the last week was his first pick in games. Yeah, I think that, um, He's been very efficient moving the, moving the chains and making the good decisions, getting the ball to where it needs to go, uh, getting us in the right looks, uh, making adjustments at the line of scrimmage when he's needed to. And unfortunately for him, as we go back at the end of the season, we probably look at you know, some of his turnovers. A lot of them we're going to say, ah, that ball should have been caught, wasn't on him. Uh, maybe the receiver did the wrong route or something. But as overall, I think he's playing really well. Yeah, he's had just some unfortunate uh, luck with those. And, uh, you know, it seems every time when we look at him, it's like, ah, oh, it was a great, th great decision, great throw. We got to make that play. Um, Philly, I, I think, it, yeah, obviously, turnovers are important every, every week, but I think Philly might be like, you know, near the league leaders in forcing turnovers. Yeah, I mean, when you just, if you just start talking about this defense and you look at their stats and then you turn on the film, you see it. And they're not just, it's not just one guy up front that's applying pressure. You're getting it from a multitude of guys. And obviously that's, as you're, as you're seeing these pass rush and, and the sacks and the balls out, and then you look on the back end and not only the amount of interceptions that they have, but also just pass breakups that they have that they've gotten their hands on. So it's clearly a, a big challenge for us. Do they look at kind of similar to some of I think just as a whole group, when you look at their defense, um, you know, that they got a, a great core playing together. And, uh, you know, again, like I said, you, you know, sometimes you go into a game and you're like, oh, we got to account for the, where this guy's lining up. Well, there's a lot of guys for them that you got to account for. And again, on the, in the back end, they're just making a ton of plays on the ball. Sort of in the red zone package, even though it's sort of in the uh, the two-minute drill package. But 
because he specifically like did he first have to earn the right to be on the field more before you opened up more things in the office? Uh, I think that he's proven to us that when he's had opportunities, he's he's made them. Um, and so I think that, I, you know, the feeling coming out of training camp was really positive, not only from a passing game perspective, but where he had grown in the run game as well. And so obviously, yes, he's earned, he's earned more and more opportunities as the season's gone along.